How to select the correct LED cooler for your Osram Solaric chip on board lab module. In Mechatronics, under the correct LED cooler, we understand a product which is at one side thermal compatible, so that means that at the end your LED stays at the correct temperature you desire, and at the other side mechanical compatible that you don't have to drill or tap holes at the end. Let's first look at the thermal compatibility. And as an example, we are going to design a luminaire using the Osram Solaric S19 chip on board package. First, we have to determine our boundary conditions. So we will work at an ambient temperature in this case of 40 degrees Celsius. And we want to keep our case temperature or measurement point below 85 degrees Celsius. In the data sheets of Osram, we can see we are going to drive the module at 700 milliamps and a forward voltage of 46.5 volts. So from that we can calculate the electrical power. So the electrical power will be 32.55 watts. But of course not all of this power is going to heat. Uh, there is of course the efficiency and the efficiency is around 30%. That means that 70% of the power will be dissipated and have to be cooled away. If we calculate 70% of this, the dissipated power PD will become 22.78 watts. Now we put all this in a simple formula and we divide the difference from the case temperature to the ambient. So 85 minus 40 gives us 45 degrees Celsius. This value we divide by the dissipated power, 22.78, and we get a thermal resistance of 1.97 degrees Celsius per watt or Kelvin per watt. This is not yet what our LED cooler has to do. From this value we have to deduct the interface material, which also has a thermal resistance. And in practical, if you use a good grease or a good phase change material as an interface pad, you have to count around 0.1 to 0.2 degrees Celsius per watt for that. So 1.97 minus, let's say, 0.2 gives us a maximum thermal resistance of the LED cooler of 1.77 degrees Celsius per watt. With this value, we now going to find the LED coolers which are also mechanically compatible to our Solaric S19. And for that we go to our website led-heatsink.com. We go to the Osram Opto Semiconductor section and we fill out our filter on the top. So first we select our Solaric S19 chip on board module. Secondly, we fill in our results. So 1.77 degrees Celsius per watt and we click on go. The results which appear now are all mechanically and thermally compatible with what you need to keep your LED at the temperature we have defined in the beginning. All these modules what you see here, all these LED coolers, you can either screw your chip on board directly on the LED cooler or you can use a Zaga Book 3 LED holder. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to contact us.